just a day ago, the Florida Gators flip a top end quarterback recruit and an elite 11 finalist from Penn state to Florida. They get a top five running back. They are continuing that momentum today as they land a top 10 athlete in the 24 seven sports sports composite class into Eugene Wilson, the third and incredibly fast player. When I say deep and speed threat, that is not a joke. What does this mean now as he will be coming to Florida to play wide receiver for this wide receiver room and the Florida Gators moving forward? Eugene Wilson III already has NFL bloodlines in his family as his father was a cornerback in the NFL for the New England Patriots, and he did win two Super Bowls with them. Eugene Wilson the third here was actually set to play cornerback and most schools were recruiting him that way but he ends up signing with the Florida Gators or committing to the Florida Gators to play wide receiver out of Gaither High School in Tampa Bay Florida listed at 511 165 that's probably one of the few things um he might need to uh, add a little bit of weight He's got a little bit of a smaller frame, but I do think he could add some weight on there. But he is listed as the number 10 athlete in the 24-7 sports composite as a four-star. And he is also a four-star athlete for 24-7 sports, but he is listed as their 15th athlete. So what does he do? He separates from cornerbacks, whoever's covering him on the field, with his speed. His quick jab steps and ability to change direction. I I do not tend to use this word often anymore, but it is elite. He is extremely quick, not just with long speed, but in the short area as well. He has fairly good route running from everything I was able to see. Probably could shore that up a little bit. Might be because he was also playing cornerback at time in high school. We'll talk about how good he was at cornerback as well. But maybe that's some of it, but slant routes, again, inside his routes, he was really good at creating separation, showing a little bit of route deception as well. He was electronically timed at a 4-5 in a 40-yard dash. It was actually the fastest 40-yard dash time out of anybody at a extremely talented Under Armour All-American camp in Miami earlier this year. Again, when I tell you guys verify top end speed, he can vertically challenge the defense. He can get down the field fast. He can be used all over the place, not just as a deep threat when I say that. I mean, they can hit him with the quick screen, and he could legitimately take it to the house. Jet sweeps, anything. This kid's speed is incredible. And again, not just long, short area quickness as well. Also has really good hands. Last year, again, splitting time at wide receiver and defensive back. He got 62 passes for 925 yards, which is a 14.23 yard per reception. Had seven touchdowns, and when he worked as a defender in defensive backfield, 23 tackles. He did have four interceptions and five punts um, returned. Did score on a kickoff return as well. He earned all county recognition for this. But again, not going to be an athlete anymore. He's coming to Florida to play wide receiver, and I think he's going to focus solely on that his senior year, which will only help him. Again, I, I think he's going to rise up. We've seen this recently over the past couple of years, these athletes who come in at wide receiver and really kind of turn around. Last year, at least for us at campus to Canton, we were really big on Barry and Brown, who is now going to Kentucky. He's going to play a wide receiver. I think Eugene Wilson could be one of them as well. Like this guy. Yeah. When I say fast, you think you know fast until you watch him run. Like, he's possibly the fastest player in this class. But he is coming into a very interesting wide receiver room here at Florida, right? We expect Jacob Copeland, uh, Justin Shorter, and probably Xavier Henderson to kind of be the guys this year with Anthony Richardson. We're going to assume Anthony Richardson plays really well. Again, he one of the most dynamic athletes in college football in general. We're going to assume he plays well enough to go on to the NFL. As they just brought in Marcus Stokes, they've also got Jack Miller, one of those guys likely the quarterback in 2024. Copeland probably moves on shorter, five-star. He might move on. He's getting very close to running out of eligibility here. So you're looking at Frazier, Henderson, and maybe, maybe Burke. Where I think Wilson fits in is he's not going to be big enough to play on the outside. He's probably going to be a slot wide receiver, but I do think they can move him all around because he can create separation. He might get jammed at the line a little bit just because he's a freshman. He's kind of growing into things, 
But overall, his speed is going to be game-breaking for the Florida Gators. They likely use him on special teams as well, as he's already done that in high school. Again, it sounds bad. I shouldn't say it sounds bad. He's a top-10 athlete. When you say that you're not expecting what you see, if you guys have time, go turn on his highlight tape at some point in time. Go turn on his huddle film at some point in time this weekend and just watch how fast this kid is. His jab steps and his head fakes inside route are ridiculous. Very exciting kid. Very, very good player. I'm actually kind of... There was a lot of people, a lot of people crapping on Billy Napier lately about these recruiting classes when he lost out on a certain quarterback. So grab three really good players here in the past week since that's happened. Guys, if you like this kind of content, please hit that like button. Show us a little bit of love. Also, it helps out the algorithm. We're not going to lie about that. Subscribe to the channel. We will have in the comments section below or in the description, I'll have uh, how to get our Devi guide, our freshman guide, our CFF guide if you're into any kind of college fantasy, and the link to the website, campusdecanton.com. Go check it out. A ton of free content on there. Maybe that'll convince you guys to get a sub $2.99 a month. Very, very easy, early, easy barrier to entry into our website. Guys, have any other questions? Hit us up on Twitter. Outside of that, have a great.